All right, everyone. I made a new guided counter. It's a lot smaller than the last one, and it has some new software features that I'm gonna go over. So it's still using the SBM20 guider tube, so it can detect um, beta and gamma radiation. And uh, now it comes with a micro USB charging port for the battery. Um, so looking at the home screen here, it's pretty simple. It shows you the dose rate, counts per minute, and the cumulative dose. Uh, it does make the clicking sound and it also flashes an LED every time there's a hit. And you can turn those on or off by just tapping these buttons here. Um, you'll see that it says int 60 seconds. And that just means that the integration time um, is currently 60 seconds. You can change it to 5. Um, that makes it more responsive. But it comes at the expense of accuracy. So if I bring a source of radiation here, you'll see that it climbs really quickly. I went to 5 seconds, and then it also drops off quickly. Um, you can also change it to 180 seconds or 3 minutes, which is useful for measuring low levels like background, uh, natural background, because it doesn't fluctuate as much. I'll just bring it back to 60. Um, there's also a feature called time count. This is new. Um, you just pick an interval and then hit begin and it just counts the total number of pulses um, throughout the interval. And you can see that there's a little progress bar. Um, and then at the end it just shows you the total number of counts that it measured. And then you can use it to measure um, really low levels of radiation like radiation from bananas or other foods or even you could probably even measure um, high levels of radon maybe. I haven't tried it, but it could work. Um, moving on to settings. Uh, it's a pretty simple settings menu. There's You can change your dose units, um, alert threshold, which is the threshold at which um, the uh, banner goes red. So I can just demonstrate. And it says high radiation level. Um, it's currently set at 5, so you can just change it to any, any number you want. Um, you can also change the calibration if you want. And then finally there's this new option of logging in Wi-Fi. Um, I won't go into too much detail um, about this. You can find more detail about it in the um, user manual that I'll link below. But basically um, it lets you set up your new Wi-Fi and ThinkSpeak channel uh, credentials without having to change anything in the code. So it's all done It's all done um, through the UI. Uh, you can log data. So when the logging is on, you'll see that there's a little L symbol up top, and then it just logs the counts per minute. And then um, once you're done logging, you can upload the data to your ThingSpeak channel, and then it will plot um, the data. And then you can also um, set up your device as a monitoring station. And what it does is it turns on Wi-Fi and it just constantly updates your ThinkSpeak channel um, every five minutes. So yeah, that's all the new features. Um, I'll have links to the Instructables and to my GitHub, which will have all of the design files and the code and everything if you want to build your own. Um, and I'll also have a, instruction, a link to a build guide and the user manual. So yeah, uh, see you guys in the next one.